Hello everyone and welcome to a new let's play Ooh, getting spoopy A new let's play called The Ladder As I promised you guys Yay, oh my god Anyways, I just realized that the month of September Has already come into the middle of like you know, the months, and I didn't realize how fast time was going. And I did promise you guys I would start a spoopy little let's play for the month of mid September to all the way through to Halloween, just because, just to give me myself enough time to complete it. So, yes, so I have decided on the letter, seeing as how it's more in line with what I do, what some of my game, well, well, most of my gameplays are on my channel, which is visual novel, except this time we got a visual novel horror story to do. So, yes. Um, and for those of you who don't know what the letter is, as uh, some of you have made aware of that, or has let me know, um, the letter is, I think it's, if I can remember the story, is like how, is we play a girl, I forgot her name already, we basically play a girl, she's a real estate agent who's supposed to sell this huge mansion house and she she goes over, she checks it out and then of course she didn't know she none no one realizes that the house is actually cursed or haunted or whatever the hell. So she encounters her first ghost there and I think then she gets transported back into this like back into this weird warped time where it's like she's trapped in this mansion and now she has to go and try to you know get herself out along with a friend who is also missing inside that mansion so anyways i don't know that's what i remember from the demo and of course as you guys have noticed sorry i couldn't do a face cam because you know i couldn't find my tripod and i really wanted to do one but you know what we're gonna start off with no face cam for now but if, if i work something out again again no promises um i will try to do a face cam for you guys but i feel like it wouldn't matter anyways just because i know for the first half of the game if it, if it turns out to be true, um, it might be like the demo in which I already kind of know what happens-ish. Vaguely remember what happens. Anyways, whatever. Let's get started, you guys. I'm I'm scared, kind of nervous, but this is, this is a good game to start off weaning my way into, you know, doing some horror let's play for the month of September and October. So let's go. <laughs> oh my god, I hate that. I just got scared. Got their fucking menu! <laughs> Prologue! Okay, I'm back from the dead. As <laughs> my soul playing now, you guys, because I did not expect that. And again, as, as a disclaimer or as a warning, you guys, I am a super, super jumpy person. I wish I wasn't, but anyways, uh, let's try to get. Famili let's try to familiarize ourselves with the, the game menu first, just because there's a lot going on here, Jesus. So auto, skip, backlog, save, load. Okay, that's good, that's cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, no, shut up. It's my phone. Journal. Okay, so relationship, branching tree. Hopefully the game gives us a little tutorial on that. Oh yes, and what makes this game really unique, you guys, is that it's not just a visual novel, like typical visual novel game where you make choices and you just choose between A, B, or C, or whatever the hell. There's actually QTE moments. Oh my holy shit. Fucking god! I'm gonna, I'm gonna freak my shit. I turned it, I turned on QTE just to get the full experience because there is an option where you can turn it off and skip it. But no, I'm going in, I'm going ham. And also as well, I think there's, um, there's also a normal and difficult mode. I'm on normal mode right now. So yes. So, uh, let's just go. Let's just go with the story now. So the Ermengarde Mansion. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. God damn that menu still had me shook. It was built for Lord William and Lady Elizabeth Ermengarde of Luxembourg, humble ambassadors of peace and beloved by the, and beloved by their people. Yes, I remember this. I vaguely remember this. This was part of the demo. Um, both were well known for their compassion and generosity, never failing to extend a helping hand to anyone in need. Yes. So this is the mansion I was telling you about. How we're gonna get trapped in it, and it's haunted. So under their influence and wealth, what was once a small, sleepy village grew to a prosperous and bustling town. However, their seasons of joy eventually ended when the good nobles perished at the hands of a great plague. Oh no, sickness and disease. Uh, their riches and legacies were henceforth passed on to their only child, Lady Charlotte Ermengarde. Ermengarde! Okay, what happened to Charlotte then? 
The mansion has stood since the 1620s, a witness to a very long history of joy and pain. Joy and pain and suffering. After Lady Charlotte committed suicide, oh great, that's what happened to her, the great house was eventually left uninhabited. Uh, no doubt, all creepy and haunted now by her spirit. That is when it began. The curse. <laughs> Surrounding villagers spoke of seeing and hearing unearthly things, of cries and howls that filled the night, and hearsay of a mysterious woman roaming the hallowed halls aimlessly. Oh my gosh. People who dared enter its walls were simply never heard from again. Yes. Even after 400 years, these, these stories remain, much like the house itself. Whispers of the once great house, its legend and its curse, still fall upon the villagers, e yeah, the villagers' ears. In spite of this, the current owners are convinced that these stories are nothing more than a hoax. Oh yes, that's how it all starts. With little regard for the truth, they had Briar Reality Corporation place the property back on sale. Oh my goodness. First mistake. Like Pandora's box, the secrets that lie inside await to be discovered by brave souls. Uh-huh. No matter what happens, take care not to be consumed by the curse. Okay. Alright. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Like, you <laughs> miss me with that haunted shit. You would never find me there, girl. Girl, I don't know what you're talking about, girl. Isabella. Okay, well, yeah, that was the girl's name. Isabella. Oh, hey, we got a phone. Okay, accept. Can Hello? We bro oh. Isabella. Are you there? Oh, that's voice Where acting. Are you? I'm, I'm sorry. Bros, are, are you my manager? A familiar jittery voice comes from the other end. Oh, hey, Rose. I'm at St. Goretti High. What's the matter? What's the matter indeed? Oh, maybe we should turn off Isabella's voice because we are playing as Isabella. Hold on. Okay, so let's voice act Isabella and we can let everyone else do their thing. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. Hey, Rose. Uh, I'm at St. Goretti. St. Goretti High? Yes, okay, St. Goretti High. Oh, what's the matter? What do you mean, what's the matter? I mean, you called me, girl. It's a mansion, silly. I'm here and you're late. Oh, shit, my bad. Well, I got education to get, okay? Sorry. Jeez, we're on shift together. You promised. Okay, sorry. Like, I know you don't want to be at the mansion by yourself. Like, I don't want to either, but girl. Oh, my I God, please don't tell me you forgot. You were planning on leaving me to check this place out on my own, weren't you? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> you chickened out! Oh, shut up! I ch I may be a chicken, but I'm a survivor, okay? Mama didn't raise no fool, okay? So calm down, you know I take my promises seriously, okay? I'd Jesus. like to believe that, so hurry up and get here! Oh, the music sounds really loud, though. I wanted to turn that shit up just for, like, effect, but, like, not being a little loud. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. Still trying to work out the kinks. So, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll be there. Goddamn, Rose. This place is huge. A bit too quiet since no one's lived here since, like, forever, but beautiful nonetheless. Okay, I'm well, I'm glad you're enjoying the sights, at least. Okay, if I was, if it was me, I would've been like, no, hell no, bitch. Oh, uh, why are you so surprised? This isn't the first time you've been there. Well, yeah. I know. I just wish I could live in a place like this. I wouldn't. Even if I had money, I wouldn't want a big house. I just feel like it's just too much work. It really takes my breath away. Okay, good on you, girl. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Not after the rumor that says it's haunted, right? <laughs> Jeez, never mind those rumors. Ghosts aren't real after all. Ghosts aren't real after all. Mm, yeah. And even if they are, which they are not, they can't do anything. Are you sure? They're nothing but spirits. Are you sure, girl? You don't know that. They might be listening or watching right now, and they might not be happy with you. Enough to curse you. Exactly. See, Isabella's hella shaded out, okay? She's as sketched out as I am. No offense, sweetie, but that's a bit of a stretch. Well, you're gonna end up dying first then, and I won't be sorry for it. Eh, believe it or not, it's better be it's better to be careful. Exactly. Right. You know, not every property we sell will end up with a dead body stuffed in a sofa. Well, you never know, girl, okay? And I think that mansion is where we'll likely find another one. I can feel it, right? Just screams, dead body. That was one time, Isabella! Loosen up! A oh, one time- oh my gosh, so it has happened. Like, I was gonna say, I was like, this sounds like it did happen before. And it did! Turns out it did! Okay, fine, it's comforting. I just 
get here ASAP, please. I'm getting bored being here on my own. Okay, goddamn, Rose. Sorry if I'm trying to get my education and graduate. God. Fine, fine. Let me just finish up here. I'll be right there soon. Okay. Okay. Bye. See you. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye, bitch. She hangs up before I can respond. Rose, still charming as ever. Yeah. And who was that? Oh, it's Rose, my friend. Uh, yes. Ah, uh, okay. I look up from my phone to see Rebecca or Becca giving me a questioning look. Yeah. Oh, uh, that? It's just Rose. Yeah, just, just Rose. Rose? The one you said who trained you for your job back when you started. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Like, I've seen it in the demo before, but, like, they really polished it up. Damn, okay, it's really nice. I like this. I like the style of this game. You're working together again? Yes, I am. Uh, just for this property, we've been scoping out that big mansion down at Anselm Village after the renovations. Uh, today is this sort of... Uh, today is sort of its grand opening to the public. BRC uh, wants to give it one last check before we let potential buyers tour it, tour it this afternoon. Yes. Wait, mansion? That big spooky one you've been telling everyone about? Yep, that big spooky one. Didn't you keep saying how it just gave you the creeps? Yep, but it's not my problem because I'm the one who's just trying to sell it and make a living. You actually went there? And you're going back? Yes, I know. Crazy, right? Well, I did promise Rose I wouldn't ditch her. I, you know, I'm such a good friend. God damn. And besides, a job is a job. Gotta do what you gotta do to make a living. Yep. Gotta, gotta get that grind. Gotta get that money. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as those words leave my mouth, Becca lets out a soft chuckle. What's so funny? Nothing. It's just that I didn't expect you to say that. Coming from you, it sounds so out of character. What do you mean? I gotta get the money, girl. What's so out of character about that? I mean, no offense, but you've been freaking out about the place being creepy ever since you got assigned to it. Cursed rumors and all. I know, true. Yeah. I mean, like, if I could really help it, if I was Isabella, I would've been like, to my manager, like, girl, I ain't, I ain't about to step in in that place unless it's been blessed by, like, you know, monks and priests and shit, and anyone you can call up on. It's like, I ain't, no. <laughs> I don't, I don't do that. I honestly thought you'd back out. I would too, but damn, I got more guts than I thought I did. Not all the time. I could really use a huge amount of cash right now, and this is just the fastest way to get it. Sadly. Plus, listen to this. Briar, Re Briar Reality wants it sold as soon as possible, and the agent who lands the deal is going to get a huge bonus. Yeah, money. But is it worth it? <laughs> is it worth getting killed over by an angry spirit? <laughs> They never give bonuses like that. Getting that would make life so much easier. They're desperate. I'm desperate. It's perfect. Yes, we're all desperate. A sympathetic look crosses her face. You know, if you're really in urgent need of money, you could have just asked me. Oh no, girl. I would never do that. Or Ashton. No, I don't even know who Ashton is, but no. We can always let you borrow, and you can pay us back whenever. No, girl, don't. I. It's okay. I got. I got it. <laughs> I have to keep myself from groaning out loud. In the years I've known her, I can already tell what to expect when she has that expression. Becca. Oh, Becca. I've noticed that you've been living off instant noodles these past few weeks. Well, what's the, what's the matter with that? <laughs> instant noodles is great. She crosses her arms and grimaces at the thought. And grimaces at the thought. Her voice slightly rises as she begins to scold me. Instantly, I'm reminded why Becca excels at teaching boisterous teenagers. Right, she is a teacher even though she looks hella young and like really hipster. Stop eating junk! They're cheap, but they're not good for you. But I... But it is the noodle man, that mama. <laughs> You'll definitely end up in the hospital if you keep at it. It's okay, better than end up dying from, you know, supernatural causes. Okay, there we go. Here we go again. Okay, so I eat other things too. You're not my mom. Okay, so let's save. Let's see how many save slots we have. Ooh, plenty, which is awesome. So let's save. Let's do the thing that we've always been doing with Nameless. is to save every single time the prompt shows up just because. Yes, as, it, as Nameless has taught me, you just never know. <laughs> so I eat other things too. You're not my mom. I eat other things too, Becca. Oh, there we go. Achievement. This or that. Relationship status. Okay, cool, cool. Hey, I eat other things too. Okay, so... 
Let's see. Let's take a peek at that. All right. I figured we can build our relationship with all the characters that we will be meeting. So uh, so far, I want to get an. I want to have a like a nice repertoire with with um, Becca here. So like, cause she seems like she'll help us. You know, she seems like she's just looking out for us. So I fold my arms across my chest, mimicking her posture and giving her the best frown I could muster. The, the same one I'd use with my younger siblings when they're being difficult. Instead, she only raises an eyebrow at me. That's not going to work on me. And I saw it when you were cleaning your flat last week. Oh, come on now. I'm just, I'm just trying my best, girl. The instant noodle cups outnumber everything else. Okay. Oh my god, a girl. You're just exaggerating. Did you even see what's in my cupboard yet? Uh, I'm not just living on instant noodles alone. I've got canned beans, peas, tuna, ham, and even hamburgers in there. McDonald's takeout. Uh, Becca's wrinkling her nose by the time I get to the end of the small list. She even went a little green on the last one. Oh, well, she's a probably a, uh, what the health freak. I would have laughed a little at that if I didn't know uh, if I didn't know, it would only lead to more reprimands from her. Aren't those the same ones you won from the grocer's raffle more than a year ago? Oh, ew, I didn't know that. Okay, damn, shit, I'm disgusting. <laughs> oh, I sincerely hope you're checking the date stamps on those things before eating them. I don't want a repeat of last year. Oh, okay, yeah, where I end up in the hospital with food poisoning? Is that is that what happened? In any case, those are still not exactly healthier choices, Belle. I know. God. Uh, yes. She shakes her head, possibly laughing at some funny distant memory. Yeah. When she looks up, I immediately brace myself. Uh, more words from her. Yeah, sometimes it's just better to let Becca talk until she's out of the- sh Until she's out of things to say. Right. But when she turns her attention back to me, there's only warmth in her smile. I know you're just looking out for me, girl, and I appreciate it. <sighs> What am I going to do with you? Ah, uh, it's alright. I don't know, girl. I'm just hopeless. She says this more to herself than me, her voice shifting to something to something kinder, even motherly, if I'm looking for the exact word. I hope you know that it's impossible not to worry about you when you're like this. You don't have to keep eating the same thing. I know. It's just it's so hard to live, you know, by myself, away from family, and just, you know, having mouths to feed as well. I think so. That was the, like, the backstory is like why she's struggling so much with money is that she's trying to provide for her family as well. And her family's huge. I already told you before. You're always free to reheat food in my fridge. Girl, you you are just such a little angel right now. Like, I, I'd appreciate your love and kindness, but like, seriously. Thanks, Becca. I really appreciate it, but you don't need to keep babying me. Yeah. You, uh, you've been taking care of me since after I moved here. You have to take a break at some time, right? And before you ask again, no, you know I'm not a fan of borrowing money. Yes. And I'm not going to ask you to give me what you earned, what you earned hard for yourself. Ah, uh, you and your pride. But suit yourself. Okay. Yeah, I will. The offer stays on the table, though. Okay. All right. Thank you. I nod in response if only to get her to drop the topic, yes. But I'm pretty certain I will never take that offer. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Damn. It has nothing to do with my pride. I've simply I've simply seen plenty of times how friendships uh, take a, can take a turn for the worse just because of a few unpaid uh, unpaid debts, yeah. I mean if you're really homies then like you wouldn't mind. Like you would owe each other back somehow, some way. It doesn't have to be through money. <laughs> I don't want something like that to happen between me and Becca. Yeah. We may argue about a lot of small petty things, but she already feels like a real sister to me. I don't want to lose our friendship over something so trivial. Becca's movements when she takes a quick glance at something behind me snaps me out of my thoughts. Well, but... enough chit chat. Lunch is ending, and my students will be back any minute. Okay, girl, you go on and you go teach. We can catch up later. Yep, go teach. Good luck with your clients. You better treat us to lunch or something if you get that sale. No problem, girl. You know I will. You bet, yes. So with a small smile, she returns to her desk and begins sifting through the pages of a rather thick history book. Okay. Uh, she's probably working on next week's lesson plan. Or trying, at least. Her eyes are distant and she doesn't seem too attentive to whatever it is. What to whatever is on the page. <coughs> I 
As if she heard my thoughts, Becca starts coughing heavily. Her hand hastily goes to her mouth to stick to stifle the sounds. Oh no, girl, you sick! Ah, uh, this is precisely why I followed her here. For someone who makes a habit out of worrying about other people, Becca sure forgets how to take care of herself. Oh my god, girl, you sick, girl! Why you do that? Hey, you sure you can manage on your own? Uh, I mean, you're still a bit feverish. Ah, oh, hush, dear. Don't you worry about me. Okay, alright. I'll just drink some medicine and I'll be right as rain. Okay, girl. If you say so, just don't die on me. I level with her I level her with a flat look. Alright, she has had a cold for a couple of days now. Something about the strange weather not agreeing with her lately. Yeah, I get that a lot. And despite my advice to take the week off and rest, I found her apartment empty when I dropped by this morning. Oh, she even left the medicine her doctor prescribed. Girl, that's not healthy! God, if you're sick, you take your medicine. Like, I ain't stopping you from going back to work, but you still gotta take your medicine. Look, look who's being stubborn now, right? You shouldn't even be working right now. <laughs> Seriously, you big baby. I'll be fine. For now, just go to work and stop making that rose girl wait for you. Okay, fine, Jesus. I'll call you if I still feel bad. And you can come pick me up if it makes you feel any better. Okay. I wonder if she... No, she can't possibly. I just She just mentioned that she stopped by her apartment, so they're not living together. But I feel like they're, they could be neighbors or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, she offers me a reassuring smile and I can only sigh. Uh, why do I even bother? There's no stopping her when she has decided on something. Alright. Defeated, I reached inside my bag to pull out the small medicine the small bottle of medicine she left earlier. Here, you have to at least drink this, girl. Drink some Dayquil. She looks at it warily when I place it in front of her. Nope, no excuses. Unfortunately for her, this is one thing I'm not letting her have her way. Yes, exactly. Alright, but don't forget what the doctor said. Drink this on time, right? I'll see you later, okay? Yes, there's an amused gleam in her eyes when she shifts them back to me. <laughs> Look who's playing the mother hen now. Well, I got to because you did it to me, so I'm doing it to you. Rebecca! <laughs> okay, okay. I won't tease anymore. Okay, good. I'll make sure to drink it, Mom. Okay, Mom. She says, okay, we can both be moms, okay, whatever. Before I can retort, she casts another look at the clock. I take that as a sign to finally end the conversation and my short visit. With a small wave, I leave her alone to her classroom and her thoughts. Okay. Alright, so, oh, we even got the time, so October 21st, oh, that Friday was in Luxembourg, okay, anyways. So, uh, I hail a passing taxi to take me to the property as soon as I leave the school grounds. Are we even a student there, or are we just, are we like, an actual working adult, you know, in society? <laughs> Lol. Uh, the mansion is it, the mansion is some ways out in the countryside, but I don't have trouble giving the driver directions. Okay. Apparently, everyone in Luxembourg City knows of it, including every bit of rumor surrounding the place. Oh joy! In fact, just the mention of its name is enough for locals to give you cautious sidelong glances, right? Because they'd be like, uh, oh, this, this bitch is dead. <laughs> I learned that the hard way the first time I commuted there, and it only boosted my belief that there's something more to the house, right? Obviously, I mean, we wouldn't even be here if there wasn't. Even the news of it being renovated and placed back up in the market has caused quite a stir. Uh-huh. Thankfully, it died down a few weeks later. The place would have been a lot harder to sell otherwise. Okay. I avert my eyes from the window once the buildings shrink in the distance. Bye, society. Bye. <laughs> we get a glimpse of the countryside soon, although a quick glance at my watch tells me we're still a few minutes away from our destination. Okay. Might as well get some work done. Okay. Aren't I diligent? Rose did ask me to review the mansion's documents. Okay, I'll do just that. I already looked over them last night, but you never know when things may go wrong. Life has always life has a way has ways of messing things up like that. I know, right? It's like throwing you a curse. <laughs> Halfway through reading the papers, my phone rings again. So I pick it up without looking, neatly tucking it between my ear and shoulder. Hello? It's probably just Rose again anyway. Oh, it's Ash. Rose? Who the hell are you? Yes, again. It's Ash. I mean, girl, you got uh, you got color ID. How the hell do you not know who this is? That voice. Ash. Who the fuck is Ash? Bingo. Okay, Ash. Hey, what's up? Just checking if you're still cool later this evening. Is he like a, a date? Somebody that we're you know, 
Ah, uh, interested in? You mean that thing with Zack? Okay. Yeah. Okay, never mind. My bad. I was just me jumping to conclusions. Okay. He even called in the middle of the night just to remind me. Okay. So no, don't worry. I didn't forget. I'll be there. Cool. I'll see you later. What time do you get off? Uh, I don't know. Depends. Around five, six p.m. I don't know. I don't know. It's the first day of the um. It's the first day of the Ermengarde Mansion's open house, and we're expecting a quite a number of potential buyers. I'll be booked the whole e the whole afternoon. Yeah. Ermengarde Mansion. Ermengarde Mansion. Yep, the one and only. You know, the big Jacobean mansion in a Assam Village? I'm on the way there right now, actually. On your own? Yeah, I'm meeting a friend there. Yeah, well, Rose is already there, but yeah, yeah. I see. Looks like the scaredy cat finally toughened up. Oh, shut up. Uh, yeah, shut up. <laughs> Piss off. Ash chuckles, and I can't help but roll my eyes upon hearing it. <laughs> I'll see you later. Ash Drop me a call when you're done. <laughs> I'll see if I can pick you up. Nice. Alright. Okay, bye, Ash. Whatever, bye. Whatever, loser. Stupid asshole. Always teasing me whenever he sees a chance. Okay. Don't know what our relation with Ash is, but like, I can only assume friendly terms. I don't even know if we're like boyfriend, girlfriend, but whatever. I'll show him who's tough. Okay. Here it is. <laughs> oh, we, got, we, got, we can check journals too. Okay, so it takes a few more minutes until I finally reach the infamous mansion. And hold on, I'm gonna go just turn my lights on because it's suddenly very dark and uh i don't do this shit in the dark okay nah mm -mm, bitch i ain't about that life okay i lied i i may have turned on the hallway light but i didn't turn on the light in my room but anyways we're gonna try to do this <laughs> i'm gonna check, take the full experience of it even though i literally jumped the first the very first time we started this game because of that fucking menu i'm still not over it anyways let's check our our journal before anything else so undiscovered uh yeah, okay, so wait. This is new. New, okay. So before going to the Ermengarde Mansion, Isabella Santos dropped by St. Goretti High School to check on Rebecca Gales. The former reminded the latter to take her flu medicine before leaving. On the way to the mansion, Isabella received a phone call from Ashton Gray. Ashton Trey, Ashton Gray. I don't know. Is that a G or T? What is Frey? Frey F. Oh my god, I can't read handwriting. I mean, cursive. <laughs> not, it's not even cursive. Whatever. Reminding her of Zachary Steele's movie premiere that night. Oh, movie premiere. Okay, alright. Oh, there's that letter. Uh, oh, well, whatever. Timeline. Timeline? New profiles? Ooh, we got profiles! Okay, so, um... Isabella's the new one. Okay, so let's just go over it since it's the only one that's here. So this is us. This, uh, Maria... Maria Isabella Grace Cruz Santos. Wow. Yes. 26 years old. Okay, so, um... So we are a working adult in society. Okay, and we only have a teacher friend. Okay. Got it. So let's see, she's Filipino, okay, estate agent is our occupation, obviously, Roman Catholic religion, fine arts undergraduate, likes cinnamon rolls, dogs, food, police, procedural dramas, yeah, procedural dramas, and tell te series, comedies, and karaoke, yes, I love them too. So she's the third child among seven, wow, daughter of a laundry woman and a, and a jeep? Jeep and jeepney driver? Okay, whatever. She went to a public school and was an average student, but took an art took to art easily. Eventually, she pursued a degree in fine arts as encouraged by her father. Aw, so supportive. However, when the man was diagnosed with terminal illness, she had to stop studying to make money. It was Isabella's aunt who helped her get work overseas in order to earn more money than any local job she could. That any local got a local job could get her. Uh, Rose Cooper became her mentor as soon as she started as an agent at BRC. Okay, so it's been five years since she met her neighbor Rebecca. She met Ashton during an unfortunate incident involving her first sale at Devlin Court and later Zachary through him. Okay, cool. That's it. We don't know who these people are, but we know we know of uh, Rebecca and Rose at least. Okay, so there we go. So a little bit of backstory on our character, so let's move on with the story. So it takes a few more minutes until I finally reach the infamous mansion, and here it is in all its glory, yay! So excited, yay, hashtag, you know, mansion. I have to admit, the entire property does look wonderful from the outside. Yes, does, but like not on the inside. Yet despite all this, it does nothing to hide that something is just wrong. <laughs> The surrounding area is unusually quiet, and only the rustling of the leaves can be heard as the occasional breeze passes. 
while I while Ansem Village is just a few miles away, everybody keeps their distance on purpose. Duh. Perhaps out of fear, the horror of falling under the mansion's curse. Somehow it makes me feel sad. <laughs> The lack of immediate human presence just makes this place all the more eerie than it has any right to be. Okay, if it's uncanny, if it's uncanny in broad daylight, I can't imagine how this place looks at night, and I don't intend to find out. You planning to go inside that place, Missy? Hey, unfortunately, yes. The voice nearly makes me jump out of my skin. Yes, without completely taking my eyes away from the house, I give the driver a confused nod. A beat passes while I wait for him to say more, but his only answer is a non-committal hum. Be belatedly, it occurs to me that he must have been waiting for my payment. I mentally slap myself with spacing out and promptly, handed, and promptly hand him the fare with an apologetic look. I expected him to leave as soon as I'm paid, but there's a hesitant expression on him, uh, as if something hasn't been said. What? No. Cancel. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what that happened. As if something hasn't been said yet. Yes. Is something... is there something wrong? <laughs> Look, Missy, I'm sure you've heard what the people are telling everyone about that place. Yeah, no kidding. Nobody likes to be disturbed when they're at peace. And I'm pretty sure whatever they say is in that house doesn't want to either. Oh. Well, <laughs> too bad no one's listening. I admit they did a good job fixing it up. But there must have been a reason why even distant relatives of the family who used to own the house never lived in there despite inheriting it. Yeah, you would think, but then they're like, oh no, capitalism. We got to sell the house and make the money. No wonder they wanted to get rid of it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they just didn't like it? You never know. Yeah, I know. I'm, all, I'm totally for you, dude, but... Ah, God. He drives off after, and what he said has left a foreboding feeling in my gut. Yes. I breathe out a heavy sigh as I approach the house. After hearing enough of the rumors, I should have expected the conversation to take that turn. I know. But I'm already here. Backing out is completely out of the question. Yes. Unfortunately. It's not like I have a choice anyway. I mean, I, I, for me, I would have been like, Hey, Rose, like, you know, I'm sorry. Like, can you, like, come out to the front? Actually, no. We already know what the hell happened to Rose. Well, for, for those of you who have seen the demo, already know what happened to Rose. But for those of you who didn't, then, like, okay, we'll find out together. It's coming up anyways. Yeah, it's not like I have a choice anyway. If I want to get that bonus and commission, one way or another, I've got to sell this property. The door is ajar when I get to it, however, while my own copy of the keys dangle uselessly in my hand. Rose must have left it open when she arrived. Yes, must have. That's weird. <laughs> we may be the only people here this early, but I've never known her as someone careless. Here we go! <laughs> okay, <laughs> looks nice. Entering, entering, what greets me inside leaves me gaping. Yes. Uh, but they've cleaned every corner, waxed the floor, dusted the antiques, searched every nook and cranny and crevice, and made it spick and span. Lovely. All for the sake of making the mansion more enticing to the modern day lords and ladies. Uh, but no matter how hard they try, the mansion still looks as soulless as ever. I mean, aside from the stained glass window over there of the two people, like, wow, Jesus, they must have really been in love to be like, hey, let's commission a stained glass window that, you know, uh, paints us in it. Like, that's so extra. That's so unnecessarily extra. Okay. As though it's going to eat you alive. Maybe it might as well. If you ask me, they should have just listened to what other people have been telling them telling them and leave this place alone. I know, right? But no, capitalism. Some things in this world are better left alone, never to be disturbed ever again. Rose? <laughs> I call out. <laughs> Rose, I'm here. Where are you? Come out, please. My voice echoes softly throughout the hallways. Nothing. Oh, who am I kidding? In a place this big, I don't think she'll hear me no matter how deafening the silence is. She could be all the way on the other side of the property for all I know. I know. But that's the least of your worries, girl. Because quickly I reach for my phone and dial her number. But... The number you have dialed has not been recognized. Please check and try again. Yes. What do you mean has not been recognized, bitch? <laughs> we were just talking a while ago. Yes. Oh no, so it begins. It's not like she was eaten by the house, right? Or, or maybe the ghost did hear us talking and spirited her away, right? Yes. Right? I know, girl! I, I feel it too! 
<laughs> no, Isabella, don't be ridiculous. No, Isabella, this is your conscience talking, and you need to get the fuck out right now. Who the hell is Rose? And you don't know a Rose no more, girl. You gotta, yeah, leave now. <laughs> she probably just wandered deeper into the house and lost signal or something. Uh huh. Despite all the windows that this house may have. I dial her number again, hoping the call will connect this time. The number you have dialed has not been recognized. Please check and try again. Useless! But to no avail. Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! I have a very bad feeling about this. Yes. If only you were a Jedi. Rose? If you can hear me, please come out. I would appreciate it. Come on, Rose, this isn't funny. You know this place gives me the creeps. No answer. This isn't going to work. Of course not. The place is big. She could be anywhere. Yes, I need to start looking for her. <laughs> I take a deep breath before volu I take a deep breath before venturing deeper into the house. <gasps> okay. Taking a couple of steps forward, I notice something move above the grand staircase. Oh, uh, sh yeah. Fuck me. <laughs> what the hell, Rose? Rose, is that you? Not funny, I'm leaving you if you don't come out. I would have left a long time ago, girl. Not coming out, huh? Fine, I'm going. Okay, that's a lie. No, I would have been I would have been committed. She's my friend, I can't really leave her until I can't really leave until I know she's alright. <laughs> I'm kidding, I wouldn't totally leave my friend in this haunted house. Yeah. <laughs> Growl growing desperate, I try to connect her number again. Come on, please give me something. Please, Lord, Jesus, Gandhi, anyone? No? Yes, finally! And I think it's not gonna be here, though. Hello? Hello, Rose? I'm here at the mansion. Where the hell are you? She doesn't respond, there's also heavy static coming from her side. I sincerely hope it doesn't get cut off again before I can get an answer from her. Rose? Come on, where are you? A few moments pass until the static eventually starts to quiet down. I'm... Dick. Yeah. So that happened. Oh, shit. You hear that shit? You hear that grunt shit? No, girl. What? The attic? Why? Crap, it got cut off. Oh, dear lord. The attic is where everyone goes to die. Man, do I really need to go there? <laughs> no, you don't, girl. With how deep inside the mansion the attic is, there's barely any signal there. No wonder I can't contact her. Oh, but why is she there? Out of all places, she just has to make me go fetch her in the creepiest room of this place. I know, right? Is she doing this to get back at me for being late? Well, that would have been really stupid. Whatever, I'll just go. Okay. The sooner I meet up with her, the sooner I'll feel better about being here. I carefully make my way up the staircase. Okay. My legs wobble as I mentally curse the fact that I've chosen real estate instead of picking a career instead of picking a career that doesn't involve strange abandoned houses. Right? Jesus. Upon reaching the top, the grand hallway greets me. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, for those of you who are not again familiar with the letter or like have read up on the the, the page, the what's it called? The on the Steam page, it says that the game heavily is like influenced by like you know, the classic horrors, like the Grudge and like the Ring stuff. So like you can definitely see, you know, j like in that instance right there already, like the, the whole phone call was like so Grudge esque, and it's like yeah, and you could totally tell where they got the inspiration from. But anyways, regardless, it's still creepy, still hella creepy. So it branches out to the two major wings of the mansion, the East and West Wing. Oh yeah, and that's also like the whole abandoned house thing. But like the grudge kind of thing, yeah. So whatever, whatever. Still really looking forward to seeing how the story will like turn out to be. So there are two attics here, one on each side. Oh, two. Oh, great, two for me to choose from. But the east one has been converted to a storage room of sorts, and somehow I find it, e I find it least likely for Rose to wander there by herself. So okay, no choice. Gotta go to the west one. Besides, she never did like going into stuffy storage rooms. Okay. So I head towards the west wing first, where a simple wooden door at the end of the hall opens to a small room. Opens to a small room. Okay, God. Inside is another step of s inside is another set of steps leading to the second attic. Oh my gosh! Unlike the grand staircase, though, the stairs to the attic are steep and narrow, made of 
made of old stones and covered with a thick coating of dust that kicks up into the air with every step. They choose to clean every inch of this house except for the attic. Like, thanks. Thank God it's still daytime. Like, that will save you. God. If it wasn't for the light streaming through the door behind me, I might easily stumble and fall. Stumbling and falling is the least of your worries, girl. With how old this place is, there's no light fixtures to illuminate the, to illuminate the current passage up. Why didn't why they didn't bother to add one here when they renovated escapes me. I know, right? Jesus, that's a hazard. That's definitely a hazard. Sheesh, they did it with the rest of the house. <laughs> a small bedroom welcomes me at the end. Oh my gosh, I know exactly where this is going. Because I watched the demo, but for you guys who haven't, oh my gosh, get ready. <laughs> Alright, this is nice. It looks exactly as it did since the last time I've been here, full of dust, worn out, and faded by time. Odd, I thought they cleaned everything? I <laughs> guess not. Did the crew miss this room? Ugh, cleanliness is the least of my concern right now. The more pressing matter is Rose. Well, she's clearly not here. She's not here, yes! Let's go now! Was I dreaming when I talked to her a while ago? Did I mishear her? No, no, it couldn't have been a dream. After all, the creepy ambience of this estate is doing is doing such a remarkable remarkable job of making sure I stay alert and awake. Yes. And I'm and I'm sure she, she said she's here. Well, that the bitch you thought. Is this a prank? No, girl. Or maybe that phone call was Rose's last message to me before the curse got to her. Yes, most likely. Yes. Ugh, shut up, brain. You're no you are not helping. Don't make this scarier than it already is. But it's hella scary, girl! <laughs> but if she's not here, then where is she? Well, like hell I know. God. <laughs> God fucking piece of shit fuck. What the hell was that? <laughs> okay. That's it. I can't do this anymore. Turn around. I'm leaving. Bye. Peace out. Miss me with that scary shit. We must have angered the spirits living here. Yes, I knew disturbing this mansion was a bad idea right from the very start. But nobody listened. Of course, nobody listened. Duh, don't listen to the smart girl. This is how everybody gets killed in this in a horror movie. Be fucking realistic, they said. They think I'm cuckoo because I believe in curses and ghosts and all that, right? Uh, me and my outlandish backwater country beliefs. I've always strived to be a model employee, but not this time. Nope. Nope, I'm gonna nope the hell out of here. I'm turning back for the sake of my sanity and my safety. Briar Reality can find another agent who is more fucking realistic to tour people around this haunted house. Right? I didn't sign up for this shit. Before leaving, I take one last look at the gloomy old room. Just to check. Girl, I wouldn't even have hesitated to leave. I would have been like, fuck it. Nope. I've, I've came. I saw. I conquered. I'm leaving. Huh? What's this? Oh no, of course. Yes, I should- yeah. This is the part- I remember this part. My worries about Rose's whereabouts must have caused me to miss it when I first entered the room. But there's clearly something on the floor. Yes. It looks like... A letter? Oh yes! We're gonna go back all the way to the 2000s where chainmail is, you know, relevant. I don't even know where- why it started. I don't even know where it started. Lying on the ground just a couple of inches away from my feet. Out of sheer curios out of sheer curiosity, I lean down and pick it up. Cause I'm dumb. I'm motherfucking dumb. Strange. Ooh, this is nice. I don't recall seeing this the last time I was here. A few days back, me and my me and a few other agents ins inspected the mansion to prepare for today. I had been the last to look inside the attic and leave, and this certainly hadn't been here before. Someone must have left it in this room since then. Did Rose leave? The, did Rose leave this for me? No, girl. Was she here a while ago? Nope. I couldn't have missed her though, could I? There's only one set of stairs leading to the attic, right? The letter isn't exactly in pristine condition. In fact, it looks rather ancient. The paper is so thin and rough. I'm worried it'll fall apart if I so much as touch it. But you are touching it, though. You're picking it up right now, which is a horrible mistake. But with great care, I open it, and what I read shakes me to my core. Yes. Yes. Oh yes, pass it on. Achievement unlocked. Haha, <laughs> welcome to 2001. 
where you know if you don't pass it on to eight different people you're gonna die <laughs> what what oh my god yes nothing but the words help me fills the page all of it seemingly written with a crimson shaded pen or blood or blood yes <laughs> i gulp the same phrases just go on and on until oh Send this to five people! Okay, not eight people. Huh, my work's cut out for me. Thanks! Thank you, ghost! Or else, yes. Send this to five people, or else. Or else what? Or else what? <laughs> Tell me! As quickly as I can, I scan the back of the page and peek into the envelope to make sure I'm not missing out on a second page. But there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. No. Oh, please, no. <laughs> My hands tremble as dread creeps over me. The room is suddenly getting colder. I need to get out of here. Duh, that's what you should have done five minutes ago. Holy shit. Folding the paper in half, the sight that greets me next has me frozen on the spot. Yes! Moldy feet! <laughs> well, not moldy feet, but more like, what's it called? Decaying feet. Yes. A pair of blood-soaked feet enters my field of vision, covered in gaping wounds with skin eaten away to reveal flesh, bone, and all manner of things one isn't meant to see. It's too much. Yeah, girl, you need to go get a pedicure. All of it is too much. I want to cry, call for help, but the words catch in my throat. Even my feet won't move, completely paralyzed out of terror. Lord, please help me. Be brave and look up, close eyes and pray. I'ma close my eyes and pray, gr pray, girl. Girl. Girl, honey. Hunty. Honey. Honey. We ain't gonna do this today, motherfucker. Not on this day. <laughs> Mama didn't raise no fool. I'ma get through this game trying to be as smart as I can be and not do stupid shit like be brave and look the fuck up. Cause you crazy, okay? We gonna pray. We gonna just sit together. We gonna pray. I shut my eyes tight, muttering fervent prayers under my breath. Lord Jesus our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Come down and help me. <laughs> prayers taught me as a child by my mama and my papa slip out endlessly through my teeth. Because God, oh God, if you have to listen to any of my prayers, please listen to this one. And if God doesn't listen, at least I won't see the thing that kills me. A cold comfort. Yeah, I wait. And I wait some more. But when nothing happens, I dare to take a peek. Oh god! Oh, it's gone. Only to find that the ghost, the thing, whatever it is, gone. Relief washes over me as I shakily get up to my feet and back away towards the door. Ret retching it open, I slip out without a second thought and make a run for it, down the stairs and onto the hallway. <sighs> I take a look back to make sure it isn't behind me. Yes. Any other person might have stopped, dismissed it as a trick of the light, and an overact- and an overreact- overactive imagination. But I am not taking any chances. So girl, I'll keep running then! I am not giving that thing another chance to catch me off guard. Run, 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 run. I don't think I'll ever feel safe until I get out of here. Whatever that is, every warning bell in my mind is telling me that it's going to jump out at any moment and get me while I'm still in this place. I told them, I freaking told them, oh man, oh man, oh man. I would have been like, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. <laughs> Racing down the stairs, a breathy laugh escapes me and <laughs> my shoe slips and I find myself falling until my back hits the ground and pain racks my body. This is why you should have been paying attention as you ran, girl. Like, why are you getting so distracted over such petty things like you seeing a ghost? Like, the, what's important at that moment was to get the fuck out. But you, you just gotta think about that shit. You just gotta get distracted. Why you be like that for? Look what happened. <gasps> okay. I think this has happened. No, this happened before. Yes. My head grows fuzzy and my vision dims as I fight to stay conscious. No. <laughs> Go. Away. I'll throw. I'll just throw holy water at you if I have to. The last thing I see are those feet before I. Before all I know is darkness. Ah. <sighs> okay, what now? Okay guys, I totally skipped the video intro. I'm pretty sure you guys can probably watch it and see. 
um, on their on either the Steam page, or even go search it up on YouTube. Anyways, regardless, it's just a little introductory video of the the whole premise. But I didn't think it was gonna be important. Anyways, whatever's. Um, I feel like I should probably leave it here, you guys, just as a little introductory to this new Let's Play spoopy series that we got going on here. Oh my god, because this is originally where the demo did end. So from here on out, it's all new content. It's new experiences for me as well. So I'm in on this ride with along with you guys and just not, ex you know, just as like clueless and you know blind as you are you guys are, will be so yes oh my gosh <laughs> i can't wait i honestly like honestly if, even despite it being super scary like you know and like freaky and shit i'm excited to start this and to yeah take you guys along with this this journey this little spoopy journey and we could both we could all get scared together we can be one big frightened family <laughs> anyways to the next time you guys and i will see you again for more of the letter until then bye spooky scary skeletons and shivers down your spine shrieking skulls